Hi guys, welcome back. Yes, it's still here. <laughs> Let's get started. So, to start off with this week, I need to apologize twice. First, uh, because I've been mega busy with the house, I haven't managed to come out here and do any filming, and uh, it's been a couple of weeks without uh, any progress videos. Uh, so, sorry for that. Hopefully, I'm back on track now. I've got a few, uh, I got a few hours of video that I can run through and, and edit into some sort of uh, episodes for you, or updates. And the second thing I need to apologise for is in lieu of those videos not being there, I decided to play an April Fool's prank on everybody uh, because it only took me two minutes to do, not like ours. And some of you fell for it, and I'm kind of sorry, also not sorry. <laughs> so yeah, car's still here, not going anywhere. I'm not stupid. That's debatable. Anyway... Going forward from now, my main priorities are sorting out this list here. Hopefully, I can put it up on the screen so you can see. Um, this list is everything I need to do before this goes off the paint. I'm also prioritizing this list so that we do the things on the body first uh, because I can take the car to the painter and then if you know I need to do something on the bonnet or something like that, I can take the bonnet afterwards. So we're gonna be working through this list over the next couple of weeks and um, hopefully by the time You've seen all of that, it will be painted, and then I can carry on as normal. We'll see how all that works out. First thing we're gonna to do today is tackle the rear arch transition to the new sill that I put on the car. Anyway, I'll let old me explain now. Right, I'm gonna do something I promised to do a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that is the seam between the rear wing and the uh, lower sill needs attaching somehow so they've got like a couple of spot welds in to hold them together but there's a seam along the edge i'll go and show you in a second um and what i was planning to do was braise it together because i think that's what they've done in the factory uh my tolerances aren't great for brazing it together i don't think but in the places that i can i think i will so I've done a practice piece here. This is a bit off the boot that I cut off, a bit of off cut. Um, I cut this little piece off and brazed it to this. And if we can see, I started out over here. Well, I started out over here and forgot to put the gas on, but you know, c'est la vie. <laughs> um, and I uh, started here then with the gas and got better and better, I think, as it went on. I went over this again then to make sure that it was actually um getting him in, in the gap and i've actually bent it over as you can see it's quite strong so i'm quite happy with the with the strength of the of the weld eventually i don't know if you can see like on the edge there it's got quite a bit of uh, overlap where the uh, seam is either way that's more than strong enough for me especially on the join uh, in the door so I think I think that's what we're gonna do now uh, I'm at least gonna do the top I can see if I can do the side and the bottom as well I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to weld upside down but um, we'll give it a go can't hurt can it first we're gonna clean it up make sure it's clean metal and then we'll uh, now we'll crack on Right, here's the seam I was on about, here. So I'm gonna braise all the way down there, give it a bit of a tack to make sure it's clean. I'm gonna clean it up now, braise all the way down there, braise here, I think I can get away with that. This, probably gonna get filled. I can braise all the way down here, and then under here, I could probably do it, if I've got enough room. Uh, I'll give it a go, see what happens in it. Uh, so we've got one on both sides to do. Uh, See if I can do it. Right, 
So when I'm brazing, I'm actually doing it at a, quite a low current because um, you don't want to melt the um, base material. You just want to melt the brazing rod into the uh, into the gap. So I'll turn it all the way down to about 23, where I normally do it at about 40 for the steel on the car. Uh, so half of that. There's no science behind it. It's just a test that I've done on the uh, on the little one. Tig braised seam along here. I managed to, I think I've done more welding here than, than brazing, but <laughs> it's um, it's all solid, it's all one piece now. So all it needs, so all it needs now is a skimmer filler across there. And well, that's the painter's job. Uh, it's still gonna work on the bottom bit. It's, uh, it's not ideal, it needs a bit more um, playing with and under here is an absolute nightmare I'm gonna have to jack the car up a bit because I'm like the car is only that much off the floor <laughs> um still don't know what to do about this dent here it's really annoying I really don't like this transition but I don't know what else to do other than remake it and I don't want to remake it I think some filler over it will hide it and of course the skirt goes over that anyway so you don't see any of this it's just me being fussy you should know what i'm like now by now i'm fussy even if i don't have the skills to be fussy <laughs> either way um it's late so i'll finish that tomorrow uh, i've got some more rollocks coming as well to tidy it up and I'll put a skim of filler over all of that to see if I can fix it up nicely. If I can't, then I'll just leave it for the painter. And yeah, I'll tidy up the bottoms as well, but I'll do the other side too. Once the last done, I'll show you what uh, what the end result is. Well, I went a little bit overboard. <laughs> Clue is in the state of the, uh, of the back of the car. But watch them again, I think. Um, there's the join. <laughs> so I brazed it, as you've seen. Oh, I just touched wet paint for a up bit. Uh, and then I decided I still wasn't happy, so I put a lot of filler over it and all over the sill to <laughs> try and at least make it look reasonable. I think I've got it to the point where I'm happy now and I'm going to let the painter um, finish the rest off. Obviously, because I can't, because I've done that now, I can't show you the brazed uh, joint. I can show you the sill as far as I'm going with it, which I think is much, much better. I am happy with that. <laughs> uh, but on the other side, I can actually show you 
what I've been doing. There's some filler on this site, um, but you can just about make out the um, the braze joint. So you can see there that bronzy bit. That is a braze joint. It goes down here. And I did manage to get all the way under as well. Um, but of course, I've got a lot of filler drying on this side now to uh, so I can sand back and put a coat of paint on it just to uh, save it from itself while it waits for paint. I've got to be honest, I was a little bit worried about that brazing. And while I'm no expert, and I did have a bit of a mare with it, uh, I was able to do enough where it's given me a solid joint, I could sand it back and, um, and fill over it. Well, even when I sanded it back, it still looked pretty good. Um, but a bit of filler over it now and, and then paint and paint will do the rest of it and it should look uh, as standard that's the hope anyway um, so that's that's the sills done that's one thing ticked off the list of things to do before it goes for paint what I'm going to do next I think is try and get the I'm either going to do the front wings depends if the sill uh, or the side skirts need the front wings on or not if they do I'll do the front wings first if they don't I'll do the sills side skirts next to see if um so we can finally sort the exhaust tip out and 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 finish off the uh this this bottom half of the car right now this the sill is done or as done as i'm gonna do it i need to fit the side skirt so i've already cleaned out the inside of this uh it was full of gunk and fiberglass for some reason uh, so now we're going to fit it on here like that. It does hold itself on because it just about fits under the door. Uh, but there's a mark that I need to make under here, a mark at the front, and there's two under here as well that need to be done. So we'll do that. Uh, drill, drill the holes. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll drill the holes. I think I'm going to rib nut them. I think. I've got to drill holes anyway. I think I'm gonna rib nut them. I might change my mind, but if I don't, that's what I'm gonna do. And then once all four, I think, maybe three, four, uh, fit in to holding it on, we'll see where it's loose then and see if we can uh, adjust it. But first things first, I need to get the wheel off because uh, I need to get a drill in there. While you're there, uh, you can kind of see the um, the job that I've done on the uh, on the under sealing now as well, <laughs> or the seam sealing. Uh, I'll, I'll use a bit of light from this so you can see. Um, so that's a load of seam sealer in there. Not a great job, but it'll do. It'll stop water getting in, which is its main purpose. Uh, I want to put some sort of rubberized uh, under seal on here and then wrap the liner probably to, um, to one, soundproof it a little bit and two, just make it all one natural color, natural being black. Anyway, so if this goes on here now, put it where I want it. There, I've already trimmed the bottom of the exhaust cutout. Uh, I had to shave a bit off here to make it fit, but now it should go right on like that and make a mark there and drill through. Spoiler alert, I've already made the mark. I've done it months ago. <laughs> so let's drill that one first and then we'll look at when it can be held at one side, we can look at drilling up into it. Oh, I swear. Finding a drill bit in this garage is actual chaos. Right. Drill through on the hole, on your marks. Yes. 
set. Oh, that was nasty. And la 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 la. Okay, and in she goes. Oh, I missed. Pull. Nice. I will 100% regret putting cap heads in there, but for now, it should be fun. Right, up you go. Mm, crushed. <laughs> no, gone. <laughs> Learned my lesson and so did she. Oh, this is, I'm going to need a washer. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Third time's charm. Big enough washer, Jack. And now I can drill the hole where it needs to be under here. Oh, trouble is now. <laughs> There's an acre of filler there. So what I'm gonna do is get a drill bit that size and just like drill a little bit. So this is countersunk, basically. I'll show you what I mean when I'm done. <laughs> oh no, it's cut the filler. Oh no, so that's gonna be a problem. That is going to be a problem. Take three, or four, can't remember. <sighs> Excellent. <laughs> That's that one done. So, should be able to put this on. Oh my God. Can you tell I'm tired? Put this on. Okay. And the next one. Down here somewhere. Right down here. Oh weird, there's already a mark there. How weird. We need a pen for this one, because we're gonna have to put the car back down. Okay. One more to go. We'll worry about the front one when we do the front wings, because that's one of the next things we need to do.
I know it's moved um, because I did clean all this up after I fitted the side skirts and took it outside and then it rained because, you know, hashtag wheels. Um, but there's that side skirt pretty much on. Uh, I say pretty much because the front mount right up there uh, is actually broken on this side skirt. So that's, that's something we're going to fix next episode. But all looks good. And if I come over the other side where there's more room, you can see the side skirt is on and fitted properly. Again, this one, um, both sides actually, we're missing the very front fitting, uh, but this one has the one right at the front here. And it has one there, and it has one there. So that should be enough, hopefully. I think they get glued on the top. I might see if I can find a different solution to that, uh, because I don't like the fact that it gets glued, but if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Anyway. Next, I need a bit of help. Exhaust tips go in here. Come on, you go in there. Yes, yes. So, the question that everybody needs to uh, answer for me in the comments is how far out should these exhaust tips stick? So, I've got it pretty much flush there. Uh, let's see if I can go back here, give you an idea. Looks like that. Looks fairly reasonable, I think. Uh, however, I was playing about with it the other day and I pulled it out about five mil, right about there. And I thought I quite like the look of that too. And back here. Although I like it less back here now that I've looked at it. Either way, there's five mil, 10 mil, you know, or, you know, anywhere from there to 10 mil-ish out. Um, I'm open to suggestions. How far out should it go? Flush fit, five mil, five mil, or 10 mil. Leave your answer down in the comments. So I'll fit them next week when you guys have told me how far out they should go. Uh, I'm leaning towards five mil-ish maybe, but, um, but yeah, you know, argue with me. Um, tell me what you think is best and I'll tell you why you're wrong and then do it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, we'll, we'll, so we'll fit those next week and we'll uh, fix the passenger side front uh passenger side skirt because it's got uh, that um it's got a crack in the front of it and it's got that mount missing so we'll do that and while i've got the glue and the fiberglass out i might as well fix the front bumper too so that's what we'll do next week subscribe and stick the bell on so you get notified when that video comes out i'll put a link to the channel's uh, social media platforms up on screen right now and in the description below. So go down there if you want to go and uh, follow me on there. And if you want to be a real OG, proper legend, go and uh, support the channel on Patreon. Uh, it helps me buy new mics, batteries, all this sort of stuff uh, to give you a better viewing experience. Cause this stuff ain't cheap. Anyway, enough plugs. See you next week. Ciao. If they do, I'll do the front wings first. If they don't, I'll do the sills, side skirts next to see. If